Well, few teams in Aggieland have seen as much success as women's tennis this season. Perhaps not surprisingly, AM's top ranked player has had a lot to do with that. She makes it look easy. She's won more than 70% of her matchups. It hasn't been simple for her to achieve that success, however. Sports were the norm growing up for Carson Brandstein. Just like her sisters, she plays college tennis. She also used to play baseball, just like her cousin, Freddie Freeman. It's pretty cool and it's definitely a little bit different than probably most family dynamics. Brandstein experienced success well before college. At one point, she was ranked as the number four junior tennis player in the world. That gave her the opportunity to compete at each of the four Grand Slam tournaments. If you're in, you know, the French Open playing a French girl, chances are the crowd doesn't want you to win. Um, same with playing away in the SEC, it can be pretty tough. So um, it definitely prepared me for where I am today. When she was 15, the Canadian dual citizen moved to Montreal to continue her training. There she forged a strong relationship with another top prospect, Bianca Andreescu. The pair won two junior Grand Slam titles as partners in doubles. She's one of my best friends, I'd say, if not my best friend. We keep in contact, you know, as much as we can if she's in whatever time zone she's in. It's special to have that relationship with her and see her success. Just as Branstein started her collegiate career, her storybook journey took a turn. After her freshman season at USC, she transferred to Virginia. Injuries, though, prevented her from playing either season. There was definitely some pretty dark days for me. Um, I had three surgeries total. I had surgery in both my knees and my hip. In January, the phenom enrolled at Texas A&M and she quickly became the Aggies top player for singles. We kind of threw Carson in the fire there, uh, you know, playing number one and you know, everybody thinks that's a, a fun and a great idea, but there's also a lot of pressure. Carson has thrived in the face of that pressure. Earlier this year, she picked up a win over the number one player in the country at the time from her former school, USC. I mean, it was definitely weird at first seeing the uniform across my court. I got comfortable and um, I played great tennis that day and I still think I can get so much better from even that match. Though the journey has been challenging, it's one that teaches many lessons and is still just getting started. Yeah, I've dealt with a lot of adversity and I think it just made me a better player, more mentally tough. I'm willing to play any kind of point to win um, and confidently knowing that I can do it physically without feeling pain at the end. I went through some things I, I don't wish upon other people, but I'm glad I was able to get through it all and be in the best version of myself that I am today. How about that? The Aggies number six in the country. They play Arkansas and Missouri on the road this weekend. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back.